Hmm. Dorothy, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Isn't she pretty? I love you, baby. Hello, Trevor. Daddy loves you, too. Every place you look, there's a dog. Okay, chihuahuas, let's not fight. Okay, so let's do this. We are supposed to graph the line 2x minus 3y equals 6. Let me write it bigger. 2x minus 3y equals 6. Now, you should be learning by now. Two things to do when you graph. Make sure your calculator's on. Okay, I pushed it on. And we have y equals is already showing. We can clear out what's there. But even before I do that, I'm going to hit zoom 6 just to make sure that I have a standard window, okay? Always hit zoom 6. Okay. Now, this equation has to be solved for y. So the first thing we do is subtract 2x from both sides. Dogs, behave. So I have negative 3y equals a negative 2x plus 6. You with me? And now we divide by negative 3. Everything gets divided by a negative 3. So we have y is equal to 2 thirds x, and then 6 divided by negative 3 is a negative 2. So we have to put this into our calculator to graph it. The slope is 2 thirds and the y-intercept is negative 2. You should remember the form y equals mx plus b, right? Okay. I'm going to repeat this till you're sick of it, but I don't care because on the first test, so many people screw this up and I don't want this happening to you because they come up to me during the test, which by the way, I can't answer questions during a test much as I may love you to death. It's your test, okay? And they'll, go, they'll be like, Mr. Salek, something's not right on my calculator, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, I know in my mind they forgot to do Zoom 6. They're in a weird window. Always hit Zoom 6. Got me? Okay. Next thing you hit, after you solve for y, you hit y equals. If something's already in there, you can push clear to clear it out. See, there's the clear button. Okay, we are going to enter 2 thirds x minus 2. Now, the way I enter fractions in a calculator is a little bit OCD, but I'd rather do it this way because when the problems get harder, you're going to understand why I'm doing this. To enter a fraction, I always hit left paren, and in this case, 2 thirds would be 2 divided by 3, right paren. So see what I entered? Left paren, 2 divided by 3, right paren. Now we have to hit x. Remember, x is the key next to the alpha key. Minus 2. Now be careful. Minus is not opposite of. Minus is in between two terms. It's an operation. So it's this gray minus key. And then we put the number 2. Okay? So we've entered left paren, 2 divided by 3, right paren, x, the gray minus, and the 2. The only time you really ever use this key down here is when it's what's, it is when the number in front is negative. Like if it had been a negative slope, you would have entered the opposite of whatever. Once it's in between two terms, it's these keys that you're using. Okay, and now let's push graph, and there is our line. It's a line that has a positive slope, up 2 over 3. The y-intercept of the line is negative 2. And just remember some things I've taught you. If you hit the trace key, that will give me the y-intercept automatically, the ordered pair 0, comma, negative 2. And then if I want to move around the graph, I use my arrow key. The left arrow takes me to the left. And you can see the weird values of x and y I'm getting. And if I want to move the other direction, I make the spider or the dead bug move in the other direction. And of course, there are infinitely many points on this line, so we can do this for a long time. Okay, we're done.